What's going on, everybody? I'm Omar Muhammad in College Park, Maryland, and I'm joined by a band with a unique flavor. Uh, I'm joined by Conscious the MC yes, sir. with Classically Dope, and you guys basically are a group with a unique sound. So tell everybody exactly what you guys are and what you guys do. So we are Classically Dope. We are a fusion of uh, hip-hop and classical arrangements that's featuring the Wavelength Winds from University of Maryland, also Mr. Brian Cunningham and Mr. Ron Ward, Jr., Okay, and so you guys fuse hip-hop and classical music. You know, what is the process that goes behind that? Because some people will say those are two clashing genres. You know, how do you guys mix it up and make it work? If I had the answer for that, I'd probably be a millionaire right now. <laughs> um, I sat down with Brian Cunningham, and we actually just had a conversation about where I wanted to go musically as far as uh, creating a project mm -hmm. would be concerned. And, and we talked, I hummed out some lines, and he's like, oh, okay, so... You think this instrument could do this and that. And so we knew that we wanted to work with a, uh, a, a quintet because we had started uh, working with an ensemble previous to uh, 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 collect, collabing with Wavelength Williams. Mm -hmm. And so from that process, man, it was, it was, it was pretty easy, but uh, definitely uh, unique because, like you said, the world of hip-hop and classical aren't supposed to go together. Right. But it hasn't been done in the capacity in which um, we're doing it, which is a group collective as opposed to like a one-off show which you've seen the Kendrick Lamar's the Nas's and the Jay-Z's have done but nobody has actually like come together like squatted up and say we uh, let's present this to the world and see what happens so I'm gonna talk to somebody in the band real quick uh what's your name I'm uh, Derek Maslow Derek nice to meet you um so when you guys are producing the sound is it something like you guys work on a beat and then give it to him or does he come up with the lyrics and you guys try to create the sound of the music yeah, it's pretty collaborative, so a lot of times, like, Conscience will show us a song and he'll say, this is something I'm doing. Uh, I wonder what a quintet part would sound like. So uh, we'll sit together and we'll say, our oh, flute can do this, oboe can do this, and we'll make our own arrangements uh, that go with his songs. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's pretty collaborative. Even a couple hours ago, we were rehearsing, and, and Brian, we were saying, ah, let's do this rhythm, let's take that out, let's switch his voice around. So, and so let me ask you a question. When you, uh, what, you're playing the clarinet flute, what is it? Well, Clarinet. Okay, I'm really bad with instruments. Forgive me. <laughs> playing the clarinet. When you when you started playing the clarinet, did you think, hey, you know, maybe I'd be in a group that does hip hop and classical music? Was did you think that was a possibility? Uh, definitely not at the fore of my mind. In the last couple of years, I've definitely been looking for interesting collaborations. I do some music and dance things, um, and just other projects that I think help bring us make us more relevant in popular culture. So this just seemed like the ideal pro project. You know, a lot of people can't imagine two genres that would be further apart. And that way, if we combine them, we can reach audiences that would never otherwise maybe be involved with hip hop or with classical music. And so it really um, expands our audience base and hopefully we can resonate with people in a way they may, may not have realized would have been possible before that. So the hope is kind of to try to help both genres here, not just classical music, hip hop as well, you know, reach two different audiences and crowds. So I'm, I'm going to walk back over here to uh, Conscience, the MC. Conscience, you know, your name, let's talk about your name for a little bit. Conscience, you know, let's talk about what that means. It kind of foreshadows the kind of music you want to make, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I studied psychology in school. Okay. And, you know, it's centered around your whole ego, super ego, conscious, subconscious. And I wanted to use a name that would be thought provoking and, and also, but the word conscious spelled out is too long, so I used a phonetic spelling of it. I thought it would be a little catchy. And, but the meaning behind me being conscious, I feel like I say what, you, what people really feel. Okay. And from a standpoint that actually engages not only deep thought, but um, a conversation with self along the lines of change in a positive light. And you guys do fuse hip hop and classical, but you guys aren't the only or the first hip hop band necessarily, because you have like Quest Love and the Roots. You know what makes you different from other guys like that? I mean, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> look, tell me. I mean, you you they, you have not seen this. I promise you, outside of a one-off performance, and 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 I think that that's the 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 dynamic and and magical thing is that uh, you're bringing two things that aren't supposed to go together at all. And, and I'm just humbled and, and very thankful that I, I'm working with the quintet and, and two other musicians as well that are open to this idea. And, and, and you know, you don't just play around with music. It is, it is basically your life and what you do. Yeah. You do work with kids and with the Grammys. Can you just talk about some of the work you do with them? So I'm a governor on a Grammy board mm -hmm. as well as a voting member with the Recording Academy and an artist educator with the Grammy Museum. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I do a lot of uh, workshops with youth, uh, creative writing and hip hop and spoken word and also conflict resolution and team building using uh, hip hop and spoken word as the vehicle to bring that together and, and to create environments of peace, positivity and respect in um, educational settings. So it's real dope. So just to go back, just to clarify, people don't know what, what you do with the graphics necessarily. So you have, you're a voting member, so you help decide who wins awards? Yeah, we definitely have a huge say-so in that. But also being a governor on the board, we also do a lot of work in the background, um, dealing with uh, a lot of rights that artists should have. Mm. Um, we also have organizations at the Grammy uh, uh, Museum, Grammy uh, Foundation, as well as Music Cares, which is really big. We're actually um, getting ready to have a hearing clinic at uh, one of the studios in D.C. in a couple weeks. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask one of the members of the band, too. When you guys, I mean, clearly you want to create your own sound. You guys are creating your own sound here. But when, you, when you're making your lyrics, I'm sure there's other artists that you respect or you looked up to that you okay. may emulate a little bit. You know, let's talk about who you look up to when you're making your sound. I'm going to ask you guys who you guys look up to when you guys make your sound. So um, who are some of your favorite rappers or other artists that you like to emulate? I'm a huge Tupac fan. Okay. Scarface, uh, Rakim, uh, Big Daddy Kane. Um, uh, if we're talking about the new wave, I'm really, really, really feeling Kendrick, Chance, okay. and um, J. Cole. Okay, nice, yeah. nice, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come to you. And what, what instrument are you playing, and then who are your influences? Hi. Um, I play bassoon, and um, well, before we came together as uh, a hip-hop and classical group, we, I mean, I didn't really th think much about it. I just, just think that... Um, I mean, music are kind of like relevant, and we just come together and jam and see what's happened. So, this is what we have. Okay. What about what about you? Do you have any influence? Let me come over here, give the camera a better shot here. Yeah, um, I really am inspired by anybody who likes to do different, unique, innovative things, especially with the oboe, which is typically used in classical music. So um, Paul McCandless, um, and also Amber Rubarth is a, an indie singer who works with an oboe trio called Threeds. So that's another cool combination that you wouldn't normally think of. But, yeah. And you? Who, do you? who are your influences? On the classical side of things, I have my favorite flutists whose sound I try to emulate. And... That's not used so much in this kind of collaboration, but we want to bring our best on our individual instruments into any gig or any show that we play. So some of my favorite flutists would be Emmanuel Pahoud, who plays in the Berlin Philharmonic, and Robert Langevin in the New York Philharmonic. And you guys named a bunch of people that probably never collaborated before, which makes this whole get-together very, very interesting. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I've actually interrupted one of your guys' practices. You guys are practicing right now. You know, what, what's coming up? What are you guys doing next? Oh, man, we have a um, streaming performance um, on February 18th with One Love Massive. And we're doing uh, the Emancipation Day concert, which I'm really, really excited about at Freedom Plaza. That's in April. And that's, that's in D.C. for people because this is a national stream here, brilliant broadcast across the nation. If people wanted to get to your stuff, you know, what would, how would they get to it? Okay, so I'm going to throw a couple websites out at you. Okay, throw a couple websites. All right. So do it slow because, you know, they write and they, they listen to that at home. They got to type it out. Do it slow. <laughs> so the first one is conscious.com. That's www.konshens.com where you can find everything going on with Classically Dope and myself. Okay. We also have uh, wavelengthwins.com as well. Just how you hear it is spelled, no spaces, Wavelength Wins. We have Brian Cunningham project.com. Just how you hear it. And also we have RonWardJr.com. So uh, I make it actually easy for, for a lot of the, uh, the, the, uh, the viewers. If you come to www.conscious.com, I will have a link to all of these wonderful websites. Okay. And, you know, can they get a taste of what you guys do here? Can we, can, can we give them a taste? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what, do you got? what are they going to be listening to right now? So we're getting ready to do a song uh, titled Sound of the City which talks about the uh, frustrations and the climate, the ups and the downs, unfortunately, that we deal with um, in urban communities that uh, relates and touches worldwide. I just came from Morocco and, and was walking through some of the hoods there, and it's like my hood was no different mm. from theirs. All right, well, I'm going to pass you this mic. I'm going to let you guys do what you guys do. You're not going to say too? You just, oh, no. I'm <laughs> not me. <laughs>
one, two, three, hey! Talk of the town, and do you hear me? Your vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Standing proudly, who gon' come and get me here? The bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city, look. Talk of the town, and do you hear me? Uh, your vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Hey, I'm standing proudly, who gon' come and get me here? The bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city. Now I can probably tell you about a struggle, or how I prayed. Every day that we bubble to a come up, cause it's about time and I don't have no Riesling. So, literally speaking, that means I'm not whining, just grinding. It's a whole team full of youngins, needing to see something instead of wasting some time. Unemployment on swole, huh? Jobs on slim fast, folks needing to come up, trying to score some quick cash. Flash of the sirens, ambulance, police looking for some order. In my hood, no peace. Cease to the gunfire, nah, they just reload. Trying to feed my family while street bombs be freeloading And some just trying to maintain Making sense of this whole mess Drug trade be sky high Everybody want duck stress Just trying to get by So many confused Alright, so now wrong See how they switch rules Stuck between the rock Get a hard place Walk around, no smiles with a hard face No ducking down, we gotta have it all way Sound of the city, we sing the melody all day Cause it's, yo, talk of the town And do you hear me? Huh. Your vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Hey, I'm standing proudly, who will come and get me here? The bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city. Talk of the town, and do you hear me? Vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Huh. I'm standing proudly, who will come and get me here? The bang of the drum, drum, the sound of the city, come on. Talk of the town, and do you hear me? Vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Standing proudly, who gon' come and get me here? The bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city. Look, sound of the city is the climate of living for many in residences and in the cities of senseless. My hood's a battalion. We pack heat like oven doors. What's in store with you? Try to ravage it, treat us like savages, and we pour it down like monsoons, meaning that we flood your town. Don't know what it means to bow down, never bow out, but we fight hard, then we stand shout. They say if you. Standing for nothing and acceptance is fatal Ain't no reason why we all ain't eating at the table So I grind hard, hope it flips to a milli Trying to change both ways, hoping you hear me Stuck between a rock and a hard place Walker, round no smiles with a hard face No ducking down, we gotta have it always Sound of the city, we sing the melody all day Yeah Between a rock and a hard place We walk around, no smiles with a hard face No ducking down, we gotta have it always Sound of the city, we sing the melody all day I said we stuck between a rock and a hard place We walk around, no smiles with a hard face No ducking down, we gotta have it always Sound of the city, we sing the melody all day I said we stuck between a rock and a hard place We walk around, no smiles with a hard face No ducking down, we gotta have it always Sound of the city, we sing the melody Melody all day, man. We stuck between a rock and a hard place. Walk around, no smiles with a hard face. No ducking down, we gotta have it always. Sound of the city, we sing the melody all day. Cause it's talk of the town, and do you hear me? Vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Standing proudly, who gon' come and get me here? The bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city. Talk of the town, and do you hear me? Vision not cloudy, do you see me clearly? Standing proudly, who gon' come and get me? Bang of the drum, that's the sound of the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, y'all are definitely on to something. That was beautiful. That was dope. That was a really dope song. And I'm, I'm being honest, I actually thought that was really cool. So again, you know, you guys performing this weekend in D.C. Tell them everywhere, everybody where you're performing again. On February 18th, One Love Massive is having a live streaming performance featuring Classically Dope at 6 p.m. So tune in your Facebook, YouTube channels, One Love Massive. All right. And I think you guys 
Got the heart of the city right there. I'm, I got my heart. That was pretty dope. All right, and I'm Omar Muhammad. Uh, stay tuned with Circle. We'll give you more on Conscious and the Leaks and everything on the website later on today. And we will see you guys later. You guys want to play out something cool? If you guys got something planned, I don't know. You guys got anything, anything else planned? Or I mean, if you want something else. Wait, hey, play, play us out. Play us out. Do your thing. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to so hypocritical, not a perfect individual, expecting some residuals. I'm doing good deeds with ulterior motives, like I'm tricking you. My mind flipping through so many ways to justify my sin. Ain't no kidding, and I be just tripping in many situations. Just wanted gratification immediate, like school kids. But I'm owning up to this now, cause this is what the truth is. But what the truth is, something I didn't expect. And I lived some years second guessing, missing a blessing, like so many like me do. Now it's not a mystery of who you run to. So, God, I pray, you take away all the clouds for a brighter day. And I pray that you help me face all of the facts and keep me from falling back. And I pray that you hold me close so I receive my scope, so I can only see what matters most. When I reach the gates on my rival day, Lord, I pray you don't turn me 